These are all consistent AI images of a single person that you can create for yourself too. Same face, same outfit, same personality, no random changes, no random glitches. I'll show you exactly how to generate these step by step and the best part, it's totally free and unlimited. I'm gonna be using Google's very own AI image generator. By the end of this video you'll be able to generate consistent characters perfect for stock images and storytelling. The first step is to create a strong detailed character that we can reuse again and again. To do that, I'll use ChatGPT and ask it to generate a realistic character description. Let's say we name her Alize. Now, here's a trick. The base prompt needs to stay almost the same for every image. You want to give the AI just enough information to create a detailed character, but not too much information so that the model might start bugging out or make weird changes. So once we have our character's prompt ready, I'll copy and paste it into Google's image effects. So you can now choose filters to enhance the prompt or click on the more section for additional options. Here's our first image, not too bad, uh, but I think I'll change a couple of things. Maybe give her blue eyes and Obviously, tweak the name. Here we go, our main character generated. I'm good with this. Now, here's the most important step to keeping all of your images consistent. So, click on the lock icon besides the seed number. This ensures that every future image keeps the same facial features. Without this, even with the same prompt, you'll get quite different results. So let's test this out. Guys, if you're into AI related stuff, do like and subscribe. For the next prompt, I'll ask ChatGPT to give me a prompt for her in a coffee shop. Notice that the base prompt remains the same. I'll copy and paste the prompt. There you go. It keeps the same facial features as the last image, the outfit and the vibe changes. For the next prompt, I'll go with a selfie POV. And again, the base prompt remains the same. And there you go, we have it, our characters are exactly the same. In selfies, in outdoor shorts, in indoor shots, with different clothing. Now we have our main character, we can start to play with the scenes and the environments of it. For example, I want her to be a teacher with some prompting and keeping the base prompt the same. The picture feels realistic, the picture feels cinematic, uh, the whole outfit seems quite real. Also the face, the whole outfit seems quite real. If you want a character with outside of her house besides a car, now we get that as well. So not only the consistency but the realism of the images with the filters you added showing the type of image you want remains the same. So now if you rewind for the summary for every step, the first step is keep your base prompt exactly the same across prompts. The second would be to lock the seed number once you have the first prompt. And then you gotta play with it.